In today's video, I'm going to be deep cleaning this Volkswagen Golf using the help of some chemicals which have been sent to test out and get my honest thoughts on. Now, the very first thing that I did on this car was pre wash the wheels using a one to nine mixture of Yum Car Citrus, which did an excellent job at stripping the majority of the grime to help make the contact wash on these wheels a little bit safer. To actually contact clean these wheels, I went with the Yum Car system of using three different products, which are their wheel cleaner on the alloy faces and barrels, their undressed tyre cleaner, and their wheel foam over the top. This is a very indulgent way of cleaning wheels, and in a professional setting, I don't think it's the most efficient. However, if that's not of concern to you, then I do think this is a really effective way of cleaning wheels. And yeah, it is slightly over the top, but I can't deny it produces great results. There also is the option to drop the undressed tyre cleaner and the wheel cleaner when doing a weekly maintenance wash as the wheel foam by itself will be effective in that scenario. I then kicked off the pre-wash on the paintwork, again using that Yum Car Citrus a 1 to 9 ratio to deal with a heavier buildup of grime on the lower sections. and then layered Yum Foam over the top, which is a pH neutral foam with an exceptionally long dwell time. This is really useful as the risk of it drying out is much lower, so whilst there was sunlight hitting some of the panels, this wasn't really a concern. If you are enjoying the video so far, it would be brilliant if you could drop it a like as it does help get the video to more people. And also, if you are new to the channel, it'd be great if you could consider subscribing too.
to contact clean the car, I went in with Yum Wash shampoo and I didn't actually measure this out, I just gave it a decent drizzle in the bucket. This isn't the most economical shampoo in my collection but the user experience is really pleasant, it has a nice scent, foams up really well and feels lovely and slick on the panels. I know I'm probably going to get some questions here about washing in direct sunlight and although it's not an ideal situation there are some things that I do to make it a little bit easier for myself which include continually misting the panel with the pressure washer by standing a little bit further back to keep those panels wet and cooler and also I contact wash each section at a time and then rinse it off so there's no real risk of any chemicals drying on the panel. It wasn't a particularly warm day when I was filming this and it was first thing in the morning so it wasn't a huge problem but if I am dealing with warm panels then I will get the gazebo out to make my life a little bit easier. Following the contact wash, I gave the car a rinse and then dried it off to proceed with the chemical decon stage. First starting up with the Yum Wheel Cleaner, as this actually doubles up as an iron fallout remover. Although not the best car to demonstrate this kind of reaction happening, I did notice a lot of the panels lighting up with that purple colour, indicating that there was a good amount of iron fallout to be removed. I then went in with the Garage Therapy towel remover and used one side of my microfiber towel to dry the panel, then sprayed the towel remover on and then used the flip side of the microfiber to wipe away the tar spots. This towel remover requires very little dwell time, so only on the really stubborn tar spots did I have to go in with a second hit. After these chemical decon stages, I then washed the car again using a fresh mitt and shampoo and then rinsed it off and dried the vehicle. The protection product of choice today was Yum Wax, which I found very, very nice to use. It spreads really nicely using a foam applicator, so I could get around the car really quickly, and it was very, very nice to buff off and required no pressure at all on the microfiber. This isn't a product designed for long term protection, it's only really designed to last for about a month, so you can use it standalone or layer it over the top of more durable protection. The main benefits though of this product on this particular car was to fill in some light imperfections. The paintwork wasn't in amazing condition on this vehicle, having been treated to quite a few automatic car washes in its time. So I opted for this product in order to get the most in terms of gloss boosting and darkening to improve the overall look of the vehicle. To finish the tyres I went in with Yum Dress which is one of my favourite products in this category as it leaves a lovely satin finish that isn't ultra glossy but just makes the tyres look as new as possible and it is also really easy to apply even when the sidewall is a touch dry. 